Now that our prototype is wired up and ready to go, it's time to share. But not just with friends and family, we also want to share design specs with our developers and stakeholders. Adobe XD's publishing process is so easy and intuitive, I'm now bringing in my Photoshop files into XD to take advantage of the powerful collaboration features. If you don't have any available, definitely grab the project files included with this tutorial. We covered publishing prototypes in a previous video, but I want to touch on it again to show how interactive it can be, especially once they're wired up. I've already gone ahead and published this, so let's view it in a browser. And it actually looks like I have a comment that I completely ignored, asking me to fix the plus button. Scrolling down the artboard definitely reveals that it's not fixed into place. Let's hop back into XD to quickly take care of that. Selecting the plus button, I'll make sure to check fix position when scrolling to the right. And now that that change has been made, I need to update my prototype back in the publish menu. Perfect. Let's head back to the browser. Scrolling now looks great with the fix button. And best of all, I can click through and interact with my prototype just like I would in XD. Before I move on, let me quickly respond to this comment, making sure to mention the user so they get notified. Great, now that things are looking like they're ready for development, I want to be able to offer up my assets to my developers. But first, we need to mark the ones that they'll have access to. With an artboard active, you'll notice three icons beside each layer as I hover over top of them, giving you the ability to hide or unhide, lock or unlock, and mark for batch export. When you mark a layer or group, it'll allow you to locally export all marked assets in a single go, and just as importantly, it'll also allow those with access to your published design specs to be able to download the assets they need. On the home screen, I'll make sure to mark all the navbar icons, the plus symbol, and the background image. Now, over on the discover screen, I also want the images within the repeat grid available. Instead of having to mark each one individually, marking just one of the images will mark them all. Great, with our assets chosen, let's first look at how they could be saved locally. Under the File Export menu, you'll find the Batch option, where we're able to choose not only where they're saved, but how they're saved. With PNGs, you're able to choose exactly what the export is for, either Design, Web, iOS, or Android. I'll select iOS, and since it was designed at its native resolution, select 1x. Now, when I export, three different sizes will be available to me locally in the folder that I chose. At this point, I could send these directly to my developers, but offering them design specs would probably be more helpful. Clicking on the share icon, just like we're able to publish a prototype, we can also publish design specs. I'll start by giving it a name, and then make sure my desired export options are available. Again, I'm designing for iOS, and I want to include the marked assets, in this case, nine of them. Once I create a link, I can either copy it to send it around, or open it directly in my browser, where my artboards will be displayed just like they are on my XD document. And clicking on any of them will display crucial information to the right. Screen dimensions, our marked assets, the colors we use throughout this artboard, all character styles, and any targets that may be available. While there are no fancy animations within design specs, you can still interact with the prototype. Holding down your shift key will highlight the clickable elements, and clicking on them while still holding shift will take you to the target. You can also navigate your artboards with the arrows at the bottom. Back to our specs, hovering over any assets, colors, or character styles will highlight exactly where they're located or used on the artboard, and clicking on a color or character style will quickly copy it to your clipboard. As for assets, individual elements can be selected, or multiple can be clicked on for batch downloading. And once they're chosen, they can be downloaded at the bottom as either SVGs, PNGs, or PDFs. Finally, just like when viewing a prototype, comments can also be added to design specs for quick and easy feedback. And that will wrap it up. Whether you're already working with XD files or still designing in Photoshop, the sharing and feedback features within Adobe XD will help you and your stakeholders work seamlessly.